Today we're talking about how to make the Frugal Fattener 2, which is a DIY camera grip that allows you to more easily handle modern tiny cameras. Now I don't know about you, but I've got big hands and a small camera, so in the past I built a Frugal Fattener, which was basically a grip that the camera would go into, increasing the size so I could more easily handle it. This version raises the camera above the base so that I can more easily remove the battery and the SD card and adds a stand so your lens will never touch the surface your fattener is resting on. Let's build it! So these are all of our parts and all you really need to know is found in the description. Uh, but I do want to point out that this is from the C-shaped flash bracket with the flash bracket removed. And this is a normal straight flash bracket that's had all of its accessories removed. So the first thing we're going to do is put together our stand that the camera sits on. And this is just two quick release uh, systems here. And I'm going to take the plate off of one and take the plate off of the other one. And then I'm going to reverse this bracket on top of this plate, as you can see right there. The idea being that I get a solid stand. And because of the protrusion down here, I can't stack the brackets on top of each other facing the same direction, so I have to reverse them, reverse one of them. And then this goes in like so. Next up we have our handle, and this is really easy to put together. All you're doing is putting on a small washer, rubber washer, neoprene washer, whatever you have. And then I'm adding a cold shoe mount here for accessories. Next up we're going to start adding parts to our flash bracket. Uh, first thing we're going to do is add a quarter twenty knob to one side here. There are threads, you can just screw this right in. And we're going to add a second knob. goes to one end, and then finally the middle knob. Next we're going to add the stand onto the center knob. This is all going to get moved around in a minute, so it really doesn't matter where you put it. Then let's add the handle, put a neoprene washer there, and then attach the handle. Now the stand is facing the same way the lens is going to face, so if you want the handle on the opposite side, it's easy to reverse. You just move the handle or move the stand to the other side. Go ahead and adjust your accessory shoe facing forward, and then tighten down the knob on the bottom. Then finally we're going to add our stack of quick release systems here. And with the release that is sticking out is also going to be uh, the direction of the lens. So now we're ready to add our camera and make our final adjustments. So go ahead and get your camera. I'm just going to pop it in right here. And what you want to do is you want to push your camera into the foam of the hand grip and hold it in place like so. And then you can tighten it down. You can also adjust the stand if you want. I like to have it right up against the quick releases. And tighten it as well. And there you go. Now depending on how fancy you want to get on parts, all links below in the description, the fattener is going to set you back about $30 to $40. And if that sounds too expensive, let me tell you that if you had to spend any length of time with a small camera, you're going to be very grateful for anything that allows you to handle it more comfortably and easily. Now I mostly use the fattener for shooting stills, but it can also be a small handheld rig or an accessory rig. And that quarter 20 thread on the bottom makes it real easy to attach to anything with a tripod mount. I hope you liked this DIY video, and if you did, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more. Thanks for watching.